cooler down here because you can't drive on this part of the beach. Because you're the coolest dog I've ever known. I love you too. This is wild. This is the wildest thing I've ever seen here. Criminals, not always the masterminds that they might think they are. We're taking a look at seven of the dumbest moves by criminals all caught on camera. Welcome to After Hours, presented by Law & Crime. I'm Sam Goldberg. First, we're in Volusia County, Florida. It's May 27th, 2023 at Sumirna Dunes Beach Park. If it's not already abundantly clear, you cannot drive cars onto the sand. But that didn't stop Sarah Ramsamy. The 26-year-old was arrested for allegedly driving drunk before parking her SUV in the ocean. Witnesses say she was driving around 50 miles an hour down the beach before she stopped with her car partially submerged. Also, according to beachgoers, the driver almost allegedly hit a child. Everyone in the area is stunned, except for Ram Sammy, who seems fairly relaxed about the entire ordeal. Um, I'm not sure. I was the driver, and they kind of stopped us, and they said that we almost hit a child. I didn't think that we did, um, but that's what they told us. Yeah, well, the people are down here because you can't drive on this part of the beach. I'm so sorry. We we were driving from New okay. Smyrna and we got over here. And I'm we were so just sorry. trying to turn around. We didn't think that we could do a U turn around here. So we were just trying to keep going. Let me go look in the car real quick. You have your license on you? Yes, I do. It's in my phone, but it's in the car. I would get your phone out of there. Your car's not going to be moving for a while. Okay, can I get it? Yeah, go get your license and your phone. She's going to go to jail. Okay? No. All right, so you can go with her, or you can stay out and get her out of jail with a bond. And why am I going to jail? Right now, I think you're driving under the influence. Okay. All right? No. Then we got reckless with multiple people over here. You were inches away from multiple people. Okay? I, I, I can't help her. Sure, go ahead and turn it up on it. She'll make that. Oh, my God. Please. Yes. Sorry. What do I do now? Call the Volusia County Branch Jail to get her bond. No, she'll, she'll have a bond. Investigators say Ram Sammy's blood alcohol level was 0.15. That's twice the legal limit to drive. Ram Sammy was charged with DUI, reckless driving, and failure to obey a traffic control device. Next, we head to Janesville, Wisconsin, where a teenager threw himself out of a window to get away from police. It's October 2018. 17-year-old Quantrell Schwartzlow has just been arrested and taken to the Rock County Sheriff's Office. Schwartzlow was accused of strangling someone during a sexual assault. After the deputy leaves Schwartzlow in the interrogation room, he decides to jump out of the window. Security footage outside the building shows the suspect running away while still handcuffed. About 15 minutes later, the deputy returns and Schwartzlow is not there. Oh, no. F***ing way. The deputy immediately calls for backup to search for the 17-year-old. Deputies found him a few hours later at a friend's house. Schwartzlow was later charged with escape and strangulation and sentenced to four years in prison and then four years of extended supervision. The Rock County Sheriff's Department says security screens were later installed in the interrogation room where Schwartzlow escaped. Next, we're in Independence, New Jersey, where a suspect had a very interesting story to tell officers all after crashing into the police station. 34-year-old John Hargraves was caught on camera driving his vehicle right into police headquarters. As the officers approach him, Hargraves puts his hands in the air while apparently blasting the song Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses. As it turns out, that's not the only building Hargraves hit on September 20th, 2023. He had also driven his car into the garage door of a nearby home. The home belongs to a woman Hargraves claimed, quote, hypnotized him last year. He then apparently drove to the police station because it was close by 
and according to prosecutors, he knew he was going to jail anyway. According to reports, no one was injured in either crash. John Hargraves was later charged with burglary, criminal mischief, and a weapons count. Next, we head to Cleveland, Ohio. This time we're at the Cuyahoga County Justice Center. Deputies at the courthouse arrested 21-year-old Lunell Williams and his mother for bringing multiple guns and ammunition inside the courthouse. It happened on August 9th, 2023. In the surveillance video, you can see Williams calmly put his bag through the x-ray machine at the security checkpoint. That's when all sorts of red flags pop up for the officers. He's got firearms, he's got like a Uzi in his backpack. It's a Mac-10 and a uh, Why did you bring it in the courthouse? They search his duffel bag and find two loaded handguns. One of them had an extended magazine and a silencer. That one's loaded. <laughs> that one's loaded. Safe. Oh, this is wild. This is the wildest thing I've ever seen here. He said, he said those are your, both those are your firearms. And he knowingly brought them in here. Right. I appreciate your honesty. Williams was then cooperative with what the deputies asked him to do. But when it came time to an explanation for even being at the courthouse in the first place, things got a little confusing. What are you here for? We straighten out orders. You trying to file? I'm with my mama. Are you are you trying to file restraining orders or what? Or you got one placed against you? Ain't nothing against me. Like we hear up a, a, a whole bunch of stuff. Anything happening in the rest we Take a deep breath, relax. Everything is legal in my name. And my um Okay. Gun, um, but like, you can't bring this in here. I know everything happened so fast. We, we, we getting chased. I hey, got sorry. dropped off by, by officer officer Gates badge number one four one. We just came from the hospital. They know everything already. But you had this at a hospital too. Yes, dude. That, oh, everything happened. You had both of these weapons inside of the hospital. Yes, they took them to the back room and everything questioned me. But everything just happened in, in, a, in a couple seconds. Williams explained when he was going through security, he felt rushed. So instead of trying to get the officer's attention, he put the guns through the x-ray machine. When I first came in here, I was, I was going to talk to the female officer. I was like, before I stepped in, I got something, but everything was ha happening so fast in the line that she didn't hear me. So I stepped back. So I, I put it in anyway, because everything that's going on, I put it in. Williams claimed that his mother's ex was after them, so they needed to be armed and ready. Just so you know. Sheriff's 500 radio. 3107 Mr. Williams, you're being charged for the commands of the weapons in the adjust center, okay? Yeah, There's numerous signs on the doors and all that. Can't bring that in, all right? You understand? Williams' mother, Andrea Williams, was also taken into custody. Oh, my baby okay? He's okay. Uh -huh. He's in the county jail. What? I mean, why he in jail? What, you got to stay in there? Yes, ma'am. Why? We'll explain it to you later on, okay? Okay, okay. Both Williams and his mother were indicted on felony counts of illegal conveyance, possession or control of a deadly weapon in a courthouse, and carrying a concealed weapon. They bonded out of jail at the end of August on $25,000 each. We now go to Atlanta, Georgia, where a burglar showed off his singing skills while allegedly breaking into a home. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta police posted a video of the unidentified suspect at the door of a person's home on September 23rd. The suspect seems to know he's on camera, looking directly into the lens multiple times. At the end of the video, he then knocks on the door. But according to police, after the video ends, he forced his way into the person's home through a side window. The homeowner says his gun was stolen from his bedroom. At the time of this recording, the unidentified suspect still has not been caught. Next, we have another alleged thief caught on camera, but this time, instead of giving us a song, 
he stops to pet the family dog. We're in the Pacific Beach neighborhood of San Diego, California on July 15th. The man apparently was in the process of stealing a $1,300 bicycle from the garage. He was just about to leave when a golden retriever came out to see what was going on. Hi, buddy. No, no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> the man then sets the bicycle on the side to give the dog his full attention. Because you're so cool. Come here. Because you're the coolest dog I've ever known. I love you too. You're a sweetheart. How about you come over with me? The suspect even has some advice for the dog's owner. Where's your dad? Where's your dad? She's not enough. Leave your garage open. After the man decides to play with the dog for a bit longer, he decides to wander off. Thanks to an anonymous tip, San Diego police say they arrested a 42-year-old man, but at the time of this recording have not identified him publicly. Next, we're back in Atlanta. It's July 13th, and Matthew Fortune has just been arrested after a slow-speed tractor chase. Speed's approximately 20 miles an hour. According to police, Fortune stole a John Deere tractor, which was pulling a large mower, and then drove it through three cities, all while refusing to stop for police. Drive, dude. There's too many people in there. He's going to have to stop that thing, or somebody's going to get run over. Police say when he came to heavy traffic, he then ended up in a Waffle House parking lot, where the tractor hit an SUV parked in the lot and a police cruiser. At this point, the officers are able to run up to the cab. The officers then pepper sprayed and tased Fortune before pulling him onto the ground. That'd be all over to you. I thought he was going to ram in. Oh yeah, he twice. He tried to ram in here. And then, uh, and then if, I, if I hadn't got... EMS checked Fortune out and police placed him under arrest. Fortune was booked in the Fulton County Jail and charged with felony theft by taking. For Law and Crime After Hours, I'm Sam Goldberg.